Today, cell phones are among people's most common accessories. But do you know how they came to be? The invention of the cell phone began in around 1918 when German railroad operators began testing wireless telephones in their train cars. In 1925, Zug Telefoni AG was founded as a supplier of mobile telephone equipment for use in trains. The following year saw the first public introduction of wireless telephones for first-class passengers on major rail lines between Berlin and Hamburg. The Second World War saw major advances in radio technology, with handheld radio transceivers coming into widespread use for military purposes. In the 1940s and 1950s, companies started offering mobile telephone systems for automobiles to the public. But these systems came with serious drawbacks. They required a lot of power, had limited coverage, and the networks weren't able to support more than a few active connections at a time. In response to the growing demand for better mobile telephony, AT&T's Bell Labs went to work. They introduced their mobile service in 1946, called the Mobile Telephone Service. The service was slow to take off. The system required an operator at a switchboard to set up a connection, and the users had to push a button to talk and let go of it to listen. The service was also expensive, and the number of channels available for active connections remained limited to as little as three channels in some places. As late as 1976, Bell Systems Mobile Network in New York could host just 545 subscribers. Bell Labs engineers were working on a new system that could improve the efficiency of these channels since the 1940s. Douglas Ring and W. Ray Young proposed the idea of a network of cells to help manage the reuse of channels and reduce interference as early as 1947. However, the technology just wasn't there at the time. It would be another couple of decades before a pair of Bell Labs engineers would build this concept of cells into a more detailed plan for a mobile telephone network for automobiles. By this time, AT&T had already pushed the Federal Communications Commission to make more of the frequency spectrum available for radio telephones to use, providing more channels for them to use. Other significant developments in the 1970s enabled automatic cell switching and signaling systems, but all of these developments were put to use developing mobile phones in automobiles. It would take an upstart to give us the first cell phone as we know it today. Indeed, it wasn't until the 1970s that engineers at Motorola produced the working prototype for the first real cell phone. On April 3rd, 1973, Motorola's Marty Cooper would place the first public cell phone call in history. Hi, Joel. It's Marty Cooper. I'm calling you from a cell phone but a real cell phone. Would be another decade of development before Motorola's cell phone, the world's first, made it to market and forever changed how we communicate.